This V-part wig looks so realistic. So many people thought it was my natural hair or a sew-in. It turned out so good. So let me show you guys exactly how I did it. So for starters, we're starting off with fresh hair. My hair is clean. It's just been braided under my wigs the past couple of days. So with the, my V-part wig, I knew I wanted a middle part. So all I did was just part of my hair down the middle and basically took out a little bit less than an inch of hair to cover up the tracks and I only did this because I was wearing a straight wig if I would have been wearing like a curly wig or something I would have used way less hair for a v-part wig if you guys don't know the difference between a v-part wig and a u-part wig is with a v-part wig you use way less hair you don't have to leave out nearly as much hair and that's why I love a v-part wig because it allows me to have a protective style while also not leaving out a lot of my hair and I absolutely love that so I'm just braiding my leave out and then I'm gonna braid two anchor braids at the top of my head. Because this wig has clips, I want to clip the um, wig to these braids. So I'm just gonna braid them up and then we're gonna move on to installing the wig. So once I finish my last braid, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on my head. All I did was just braided the rest of my hair going straight back. It's literally nothing fancy. So I'm just putting the wig on and I'm taking the clips and just pushing it over the braid and just kind of snapping it. Now the thing with this is you wanna make sure that the braids are small enough to where the clips go over it and snap properly, but not too small to where it can pull your hair or you feel any tension because you still want your braids to be like an anchor and be secure. So I made them a little bit bigger than I probably should have because these back ones did not clip because it was a lot more hair in the back than it was right here at the top. So I'm just gonna go in and just kind of position that where I want it to lay. And this wig was so flat, I could not believe it. Like I thought it was gonna be bulky or, you know, I thought I was gonna have some problems with this wig, but I really did not have any problems. It turned out so good. And I'm just gonna go in and put those clips in on the side. You don't have to do this step, but for security purposes and just for my wig to feel a little bit more secure, I like to go in and put this um, the clips on the side because I also don't want my wig to show if the wind blows. So yeah, keep that in mind. This is me just looking around. It looked perfect on my head. So now that I have the wig on my head, before I straighten my leave out or do anything like that, I wanted to just go ahead and straighten this hair because I wasn't sure if I wanted to straighten it or if I wanted to to do it curly or however I wanted to do the wig so I just went in with my Paul Mitchell straightener to kind of straighten this hair and this hair straightens so good y'all it's giving silk press it's giving sew in it just turned out so good so yeah I'm, I'm obsessed with this hair 10 out of 10 recommend shout out to Nadula hair for sponsoring this video and another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about while I have you guys here, if you guys did not know, I am a licensed cosmetologist and I do hair for a living and I'm back in a salon, you guys. So if you are located in the Los Angeles area and you want wigs, braids, tape-ins, anything you can think of, head over to my Instagram and book your appointment with me. I'm in the Los Angeles Bellflower Cerritos area and I'm now accepting appointments. I'm so excited about that because I'm going to be doing some hair videos with these sponsorships okay and i'm gonna be using them on my clients period so now that i have the hair straightened on one side i just wanted to show you guys the difference the natural texture is a body wave texture but i didn't want it body wave so i just went ahead and straightened it and now we're gonna focus on my natural hair i'm just taking the braids out and then i'm gonna go in with my flat iron and just flat iron it literally only going over it one time because i did not want to add too much heat to my hair and as you can see it just blended so perfectly with my natural hair like I'm literally obsessed it turned out so good way better than any other v-part wig that I have tried because it just looked so realistic I'm obsessed with it especially for a straight wig for it to be a v-part straight wig typically they look bulky and they're just not you know the best looking this one was perfect as you can see it blends in perfectly with my natural hair I'm obsessed so I'm just gonna go in and straighten the rest of that and then we're gonna come back when it's time to actually style it. Yeah. 
y'all look at the way this wig blended with my natural hair like hello it looked so good when i tell y'all i wore this wig to the mall the other day i got so many compliments people were like oh my god you're so beautiful oh my god you're so pretty and i'm like do i look different like why is everybody complimenting me today like people compliment me yeah but never like that many times in one day it was kind of weird Y'all, it was the wig. I'm telling you, this wig looks so realistic. It, ugh, I'm obsessed with this wig. I got it on right now. Like, it was, it just, it's so good. I love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend this wig. It just blended so perfectly with my hair. I'm obsessed. So once I finished all of that, I just went and straightened it. And now I'm just going to go ahead and layer the front of my hair using a straight razor. I cannot stand when my hair is just bone straight. I feel like it just doesn't blend properly, especially because the front of your hair is typically a lot shorter than the back of your hair. So I just wanted to go ahead and just do a little bit of face framing and then we're gonna curl my hair. I'm just doing some cute little curls. This took me no time, y'all, at all. Honestly, it was so easy. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to curl your hair with a straightener. For some reason, people struggle with that, but it's super easy. So yeah, let me know if you guys want a tutorial on that. You guys, I'm literally so excited about being back in the salon. Like, you don't even understand. I have been practicing and perfecting my craft on myself for years now. So now that I'm back in Los Angeles, you guys know I was in Japan for three years. So now that I'm back in the States, it feels so good to be back in a salon and doing what I love and doing it on other people now that I've perfected it on myself. I'm so excited to share my talent with other people. So again, if you're in the Los Angeles area and you want your hair done, you want tape-ins, clip-ins, hybrid sew-in, a traditional sew-in, um, a press and curl, a trim, wash and go, wash and blow dry, all of that stuff, y'all. Make sure you go head over to my Instagram and book an appointment with me. I would love, love, love to service you guys. So after I finished curling my hair, this is what it looks like. It turned out so good, so amazing. The hair is super bouncy. I love the shine. I just added a little bit of face framing and that is it. Kind of did a little curtain bang and I'm obsessed with it, y'all. So shout out to Nadula Hair for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys later. Bye.